athletes making their way onto the competition field. And here's your start list. Now what's unique here is that they should be going in order from fifth down to first. That first place actually has an advantage of what's been hit already. Yeah, and you know, we already know that Matt Fraser has so much strength. Out of this field, he's one that has the highest total from that last time that we actually did this at the game. So he's definitely gonna be someone to watch. I mean, obviously it's Matt Fraser. Of course <laughs> you're gonna be watching him. Kicking things off, it's gonna be Jeffrey Adler. And again, he's one of the stronger guys in the field, so I'd be curious to see how he does. We didn't see him when they did this last, so. Good. Good starting weight for Adler. And again, with only three lists, what's the approach you should take for an event like this? Well, I think just like with the classic Olympic lifting type of stuff, when you only have a handful of numbers like this, you want to hit a 75, 80%. Get something on the board that you feel comfortable with. You kind of get yourself going, get yourself moving. Get a heavy lift for your third one or your second one, and then go for the fences on the third one. That's kind of what you want to do. If you miss one, then you have to play catch up in defense the whole time. That's what you don't want here. Because when you come down to it, the strong will survive. This is all about your strong guys, and you need to get something on the board. Next up, we know Olsen for his first attempt. Good for Noah Olsen. Now, unique to this event particularly is you have that 44, 45 second rotation. So you get a good three to four minutes before you go in between, but you only get three attempts and you can't go down and wait. It's it's pretty reminiscent of what a, a weightlifting meet would be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so you have that, that, that why that first lift is really important. You want to have a good lift to start, but you don't want to go out too heavy and then miss it. And then really have to like get, you know put yourself a back put your back against the wall and try to fight a, uh, uh, against that. Just Medeiros, that looks like 455 on the bar. <laughs> if I know the colors of the plates correctly. Good easy starting <laughs> lift for Medeiros. Tell us like go. Okay. I just, right. We didn't hear anything. So okay. We started it, but like. Okay. <laughs> Real strong. This is that's what I love about this guy. He just comes in with youth confidence. It's like he doesn't know he's supposed to have a hard time with it. But look at the power. Nice big breath, nice and tight. Gets to that level. And there wasn't even a hiccup. There was none no. of, you know, usually have that sticking point. There was no sticking point. And that's, what, that's lift number one. That's going to set the stage for a lot of these other athletes. And a lot of that goes with feels. Again, the speed of the bar, not necessarily how heavy the bar actually right. feels for these athletes. <laughs> Quant first attempt at 425. Ooh, nice, nice easy lift. Easy. But that's that's what we want. What you want for your first lift is something you know you can do, yep. but not too far out to have to make a massive jump for that second attempt. Because totally. that, well, that second attempt is going to be key. Well, and Quant's like his listed one rep max for the basketball was 445, so that's only 20 pounds off. Fraser will be up next, your overall leader after two events. He has 455 in the bar. You see how tight he took in that nice big breath, really contained, embraced that spine. And what I like is that he has that Olympic lifting power. Look at that nice rebound out of the bottom. Uses that momentum to get him up right through that sticking spot. Nice lift. Another part of that is, is looking at the, the difference of techniques between athletes, especially when you look at the foot position. Oh, yeah. How narrow Matt Fraser is. But when Noah Olsen comes up is the stark difference of setups for these athletes. Oh, yeah. It's Olympic lifting setup versus power lifting setup. Jeffrey Adler, we're down with it. We're moving on to our second round. So he had 450 on the bar. He had a successful 425. The number that they hit will be displayed in the front of their lane. So strong. Look at that. Wow. So 455, that's five, that's 10 pounds off his listed one rep max for back squat. But look at, and again, you know, look at the speed. Uh, no hiccup. He didn't even look concerned with that. And I really, you know, we've, we've been curious about what Jeff is going to do, how he's going to handle this mentally. He looked confidence there, confident there and just boom, in and out. Noah Olson will be up next with a 435-pound attempt. 
Now, as we're looking at back squats, we have three different lifts. Back squat, strict press, deadlift. These are one of those where you need to bank some weight as opposed, you're not going to get a big advantage on the strict press not with most of these guys. Not at all. So if you have the opportunity to go big, you have to take those 10, 15 pounds because how, how much difference are you going to have on a strict press? I mean, right. that, that number really gets down there. So you talk about that foot position a little bit here. Noah's foot positioning nice and wide. And what that does is that it makes it so you bottom out right at parallel. You're not doing a lot of extra work and going down to that extra depth. Successful lift for Noel Olsen, 435 on the books. Medeiros, he hit 455 at his opening weight, but he's only jumped 10 pounds to a 465-pound attempt for his second one. I think he, maybe it's a game trying to see if the other guys are going to make a big jump, you know? Good. That looked almost too easy. To yeah, yeah. You know, okay. Again, games. Maybe it's a maybe it's a rookie move. Um, very strong. He easily could have gone up another ten pounds just to take that to push the field a little bit. And you have to be able to take a swing at some of these guys. Push the field if you can, because if if you have the opportunity, especially where he's sitting, if you have the opportunity to push someone like Matt Fraser or even Samuel Quant, you got to make that push. You got to do it now. Quant had a successful 425, 445 on the bar. Again, I mean, some of these smaller. Maybe I would have thought it would have been capable, more aggressive. Yeah. I, I would have thought there would have been a more aggressive jump. Uh, again, very easy movement. I mean, geez, that, that was that might be the fastest lift I've seen so far from any of the competitors. <laughs> I think there's some styrofoam in those weights. <laughs> looks, looks like my 135. Matt Fraser, 455, successful first attempt. It looks like with whites on the side, it might be a 475. So this would be the heaviest weight we've seen put on the bar. Good. Nice lift, nice and easy. In, in, uh, okay, Matt, he's got the cushion. He has a pl he's got a ton of room between him and himself and the rest of the field. Doesn't need to go crazy. And, and again, he's not. That's not an overly aggressive. I mean, with what he's able to do. Now he has a listed one rep max at 485, so that's still close to that. Yes. But we have, you know, we have a couple other lifts that we're going to be able to add into there with the deadlifts, especially. All right, and so we know Fraser just hit 475. Adler is up, and he's chosen to get to a 470 for his final attempt. We talked to Jeff earlier about this, and we said, "Hey, you know what? You you got to take some swings. Got to take, go for it. Like attack. It's attack, Matt. Actually, is what this is what is really all coming down to. You have to want to attack Matt. Especially, look at how easy that was." He could have. He could have done more. <laughs> Although he seems a little surprised <laughs> how but, he did. Well, maybe. But even with his one rep max, I mean, that the has listed for that 465. I just think that was way too easy. Look at that. Popped right up. And I think that's why we said the second lift is so important that you get it right, that you put yourself right to the edge because you of that go third big. rep should yeah. be the go for it one. Right. Right. Forgot. Not that. Noel Olsen had 435. This looks like a 455 for Olsen. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I love the fact that, like, this is the one time that we actually get to hear the athlete. Yes. You know, usually it's just people yelling and screaming, but, like, to get that nice, yeah, baby, in there is great. You said Noah got a little stuck right there in the middle, and, and that's, that's what, what we're, we're hoping to see right. for a third one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's that sticking point that we were talking about. I was expecting to see more of those through here. Um, and that's when you really are pushing yourself to that limit. So here comes the gamesmanship. Medeiros has 480 on the bar. Heaviest weight we've seen is 475 from Matt Fraser. Nice. Now, okay. Now we know he's a rookie. Maybe that was the plan. Let me let me not go heavy on that second round so that it draws Matt only in so far and then take the jump. 
So Nine, and he, that looked easy. So I mean, he moved it. With that 480, Menderos moves into first so far. We still have two lifters left to go. But 480 is the heaviest weight we've seen so far. Quant's got 460 on the bar. Now 445, again, it looked so easy. I'm surprised yeah. it's just a 15-pound jump. Yeah. Good. Nice, easy lift. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, he was probably thinking, like, okay, I'm not going to go as far as I just have to get over Noah. Maybe the jump to, maybe the jump to Frazier was just going to be a little bit too much. So know where you need to jump. Again, nice and clean, nice and clean. So 480 is still the weight to beat. Fraser hit 475 on his second lift. And now oh. with the way it's going is 482. Wow. So Fraser with that will have the heaviest weight so far, and that will be it for the back squat. So we'll move from the back squat now to the strict shoulder press overhead. And again, look where his foot placement is. I mean, this is classic Olympic lifting style, not power lifting style, all the way down, able to use, they call it a stretch reflex down at the bottom. That's that little bounce. Body's braced and able to hold so much of that weight. All right, we just got word that that is actually 492. So it wasn't just the two pound jump, but it's a 12 pound jump from what Medeiros had put up at 480. And what that does for Matt is it gives him a cushion for the deadlift because the deadlift you can have a very it's very easy to have a 20 pound swing on a deadlift yes. so to be able to use that to your advantage when you know you have the ability to do that that's going to be huge so your listed results from the back squat matt fraser will take the top weight now we are going to add all the weights together to determine who wins event number three but he has a 12 pound lead on Maderos adler in third 10 points back as we move into the first rep of the shoulder press, Adler has the bar loaded to 190. Good. Nice. I would say more for a strict press, that's when you take those nervous jumps because it's so it's such a sensitive lift because you can have days where you PR by 20 and you can have days where, <laughs> where you're under by your PR on 20. And if that bar path isn't just perfect, it goes from an easy lift to feeling like it's 30 pounds heavier than it needs to be. <laughs> 205 on the bar for Noah Olsen, which is why we thought we'd see more aggressive weight changes on the back squat because you, you could do that a little bit. The, it gets very tricky with the shoulder press because you're not allowed to go down in weight. Yeah. So I would figure people would be a bit more gun shy in this one than the back squat. 205 is good for Noah Olson. 205. 205. <laughs> I love that he's going to be talking through this all the way. But you can see what he was doing, trying to get his head back out of the way. Almost a slight lean back to torque his body. That just changes that angle of his arms a little bit more to make it a little bit, uh, just a touch easier. Which I think Noah's weight might have been 195 with that blue plate on side, and he's asking to go to, to ah, 205. Maybe, maybe. Now, with Madero, so the way he's setting up here, I thought that he would have started a little heavier. Uh, just with the, the way he was moving the bar in the reloaded event earlier, I mean, he didn't have any issues with that bar going overhead. Granted, this is strict press, strict press versus <laughs> yeah. a jerk. But again, there's still a lot of shoulder strength that you need with that. And we saw, you know, that, that Matt failed on that one lift. Um, nice, Good. strong movement there. And again, maybe this is just, okay, let me get my first lift in. Let me go a little bit more aggressive and, and kind of get to that peak at that second lift and then go for, you know, just swing for the fences on the third. But nice and solid. I mean, that. You oh, I'll say one thing for Madera's sake. Dude's got some long arms, and yeah. that is not conducive to a good strict press. Yeah, he really does. He really does. 185 to start for Samuel Kwan. Third overall in total weight lifted coming off of the back squat. Good. Good, I would say, 
Solid first lift to just get something lift. on the board. You can even see he saw that same thing. Just like, let me get a nice number. But look how, I mean, he just looks really strong. It's crazy. The squats and the deadlifts are so such a powerful looking lift because you have so much weight. This, like the weights look so small here, but that very strict movement makes it very, very difficult to do. Fraser, his first lift will be at 185. Leading the total so far with that 495 or 92 pound back squat. Wow, easy, easy. And along with the strict press, you feel like you, you, you got to find it. Find your, where your hands feel comfortable. Yeah. How does that bar path feel? This first rep kind of feels like you're just feeling out the lift. I mean, they've all done it, but when you're going heavy, you just got to kind of get what the vibe of the strict press is going to be today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, you have, you have to feel, you got to ride it out a little bit. All these athletes have done, you know, these lifts a bazillion times, so that's nothing new. But you come out here knowing that we, you know, have the pressure of only three lifts. You have to make every single one of those as perfect as you can make them. Good. Good. Now, one of the things with the front, with the strict press, that you have to be careful with. Excuse me. Yes, you, when you take the bar off the rack and you take that step back, you almost want to get into that push right away. It, and I thought that Jeff was going to hang out just a little bit too long. The bar will get heavier and heavier the longer ways. Look how long, how much of a yeah. pause there was. Yeah. So, I mean, if there was like a, a, a second more or a millisecond more of that, that bar would have started to move down, which, mm -hmm. I mean, changes that weight in, entirely. That, yeah, that's it's definitely a step back and press oh, yeah. type lift. You like, can't really get it off your shoulders as fast as you can. Okay, here's 205 for Noel Olson. 195 successful first attempt. Good. And that is good. So 205 for Noel Olson. And that is that for a lot of times you look at body weight relative to maybe what your strict press would be. The goal, you know, they say bench weight benchmarks is at least strict press your body weight as a as a benchmark goal and Noah being 190-ish, yeah. like being 15 pounds over that, that's a good strict press it's for a good Noah. Strict press. And you can tell the way his body was moving, he was adjusting his body to get under that. So he saw him really lean back to try to get that arm. It's like very classic, like 1970s <laughs> Olympic style, you know, clean and press, you know, where you kind of lean back for it. Well, speaking of 70s, the mullet is up oh, next. Yeah. As Madero says, 175 on the bar. And I have to say, I would. I honestly was expecting more on this lift. From now, you did say that it's he has tricky, long arms. Though, you know, it's he he does. He has long arms, and that the longer your arms go, the 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 more of a mechanical disadvantage you have. Man, I think I would have had his hands moved out just a touch more, because you can see when he's pressing, his elbows were out. So mm -hmm. if he can keep his forearms as straight up and down, keep that vector force going in the same direction, that's going to be the best the best direction. Two hundred bar for Samuel Quan. Successful in his first attempt. Good. That'll oh, be good, good for Quan. Good, the, good. the heaviest weight is still Noah Olson at 205. And what I really like with the way Samuel's been showing himself up so far this in these first three events, just, <laughs> it's confident. I mean, we talked about, you know, is he coming in with a chip on his shoulder? And I don't see the chip. I see some confidence, so it's just a quiet confidence right now. Hey, Matt Fraser bumping up to 200 pounds. Yeah. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. So the second round of strict press is done as you move into the third and final round. Matt Fraser's 200 pounds. That is going to keep him in the lead so far, even though the heaviest weight was put up by Noah Olson on the strict press. As Adler moves up to 207. So that's more what we're hoping to see is, again, the game within the game. Noah Olson went 205. Adler bumps up two more pounds to 207. And Adler needs this. 
he, he definitely needs to do this, and he needs to take some chances. You, you got to remember, like, I know that we're on a three-day competition here, but the worst you're going to do is fifth in the world. So with that being the case, take some swings. Go for <laughs> it, you know? Nice. That can be said for everybody except Matt. is like second, third, fourth, or fifth. What, a, what does it matter? Go yeah. for it. That's good. 207 for Adler, and that should be a new uh, PR. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> this I'm proud of. Okay, <laughs> see now hopefully, hopefully something like this is gonna, you know, light the fire into him a little bit, get that PR. Very happy about that, which he should be. That's very cool. Uh, as he gets a little, <laughs> little bicep pose in there, excellent. But now he needs to ride that. He needs to use that energy of that, that, that confidence, that feel good, something that he's proud of, and like just keep going with it. Hey, Olsen got 205 in his first attempt, or his second attempt. It's like 212 on the bar, but it's not going to be enough. And if you see it, I don't know if we'll be able to see it from the side on the replay or not, but the bar got just in front of him a little bit. He wasn't able to lean back and keep that bar on that straight bar path. That's why that bar just came right back down. See him pushing, he's leaning back, and the bar actually moved forward about literally a half an inch to an inch. Just when able to get under it. And that's that's the crux you come up with something as, as delicate as a strict press. Everything needs to be perfect when you get to these upper echelon yeah, lanes. Yeah, absolutely. It's like 180. 182 for Maderos. Oh. Uh, almost, but I did like the fact that he came right off and tried to get right into it. He didn't. He he knew it was going to be heavyweight, so he tried to get right into it. But again, that bar is not in that straight line. You're just not going to be able to get up up, up overhead. Sammy Quant be up next. Two oh seven on the bar, so two oh seven from Adler. Two oh seven attempt from Quant. Olsen has 205 as the second best we've seen so far. Yeah. Okay. Very 207 nice. is good for Quant, so that'll tie the heaviest weight we've seen on the strict press. Again, we're not getting scored individually per <laughs> event, but. A, a, a positive booster for him going into the deadlifts. No, but this is that quiet confidence that we were talking about that we were really hoping to see. Look at that nice battle. Gets his head back underneath, gets the arms locked out. And what I like was the little nod he gave himself right <laughs> after. It wasn't a, he didn't give himself the bicep pose, but it was like the, all right. But my little nod and I went for it. And if you're going to get stuck in a position, getting that bar over the top of your head instead of in front of your face is oh, where you want to fight. It's huge. 210 for Matt Fraser. And that is good for Matt Fraser. And so he goes two for two of the heaviest weights we've seen for both two lists. And there's <laughs> oh, man. It, you know, he's the champ for a reason. He's definitely the champ for a reason. I love the fact that he let, he let that game play out, you know, with Adler and Quant. And then he just kind of steps up, adds a couple more pounds, and just puts a nail in it. Well, and here's the benefit of being in first place overall and getting to go last above everybody. So you can play that game. So Fraser yep. gets the heaviest trick press of the group, tailing off what he did for the back squat. 210, tie for second between Adler and Quant. No Olsen at 205 and Medeiros, uh, 175. And again, you could just see is that it's one of those you either got it or you don't. It wasn't a deficiency per se. It was just he just... That's not a good lift for him. No, it, it really isn't. But what's impressing me right now is, is Fraser is lifting more than he did the last time we did this in the last games. Uh, he's already up by almost 30 pounds just based on those two lifts. We haven't even wow. got to the deadlift yet. Final movement. We have the deadlift. We'll start with Adler as we have for the first two rounds. Adler sitting just about Man, now 25 pounds behind Matt Fraser in total. Good. Nice lift, nice lift. Looked very strong. Okay. 
Now these athletes do have their coaches on the sideline that allows them to decide which weights they want to pick, what weight have, have, have already been done. So they do have that advantage of having their coach there for them. Noah Olsen setting up for his first attempt. Looks like 405. 495. Oh, yeah, they got the little yeah. thin oh, blue power plates one. on <laughs> the, the bar. There you plates. go. This is 515, but I'm going to maybe change. Wow. Oh. And if you, if you look at his hands, like you would not normally see a heavy CrossFit deadlifter using that, that oh, double, double overhand, overhand grip. Yep. Usually going to see that alternate grip. So impressive movement there by Noah. Great lift for sure. Watch his hands. And not just his hands, but his feet. His are feet are super wide. And again, the, the wide feet, what that does is your arms kind of get in the way and it drives your knees in. So it changes that whole, again, that vector of power that you're trying to do. So Olsen just hit 495. Medeiros has 495 on the bar. And he's going to make a move here just because of the strict press that he's had. He's well behind the field after that. Good. Decent little lift. I saw a little hiccup there. So I don't really know how much more he's going to be able to pull above that. Um, he's going to have to kind of rally himself up a little bit, I think. He, I saw a little bit of a bump, a little hiccup in his, in his back end. But coming up, right there, you can kind of see how yep. he just started got a, got a little hung up on that. So what that tells me is, okay, how much more can he go up? Can he go up another 40 pounds? I, I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. Or another, even another 25 pounds. Samuel Kwan opening with 475. Good. Nice. Easy speed off the floor. Easy. And, you know, I think that that was a good call to make. Uh, just to feel some of that heavy weight, get that nervous system ready to take some of that heavy weight before you jump into something and, and kind of shock it or scare it. Ten seconds, Matt. 485 on the bar for Matt Fraser. He's already had the heaviest toll on both the back squat and the strict press. Good. Nice opening lip for Matt Fraser. And again, just like what I was talking about with Quan, I think it's, you know, pick a weight that you can feel, feel some weight, feel it on your body a little bit, then you can make your attacking jumps. Plus, you can also have your coach off to the side and be like, all right, how much do you need to make your jump by? If you went big on this squat, which Matt did, and you also had the heaviest overhead press or the strict press, now you have that cushion that you get to work with. So you don't need to overextend for no reason. As I said before, Matt led the first two, but with such a big weight discrepancy right. here, Adler hit 535. And now he's going for 5.52, which we just heard would be a personal best attempt. Wow, beautiful. And I don't know what he just said, because I don't speak French. But other than that, it was like, OK, I think I can go up. But look at that. And that was still, honestly, that wasn't the cleanest no, lift in the world. It was like two inches forward. off of his body. Yeah, it like actually moved forward. So that really puts a lot of you know, a lot of tension on his low back. But he moved easily through that. And we said before, Adler's going to ride that emotional wave of confidence. Yep. And that strict press, you can see, is starting to pay off for the deadlift. Five thirty-two on the bar for Olsen. Successful 495 attempt on his first one. Nice pull. 532 will be good for That's Noah. Solid. Tell you what, I like the way he just melts into that first pull. Watch this. Kind of sets himself up. There's not a whole lot of speed out of there, but you can see in his lats, everything just really lights up as he, as he really engages all those muscles on that back, that posterior chain, and just slowly pulls it on up. Beautiful lift. So Noah discussing what his third weight will going to be is going to be Medeiros successful 495 to start. 517, yeah. Whoa. 
was almost like a Dave Castro rep right there. <laughs> That's how long that took to get up. But good pull off the ground. And I like the fact that he didn't stop. He let he let that power kind of build in his body as he kind of slowly got that bar, got that bar moving and got some momentum on it. Definitely fought through that. Yeah. Samuel Kwan setting up for 525 pounds. Good. He's just a smooth criminal right now. I was just about to say, that was just start to finish, just a nice, criminal. smooth, and we see it in the squats, the strict press, and the deadlifts. Just kind of in there, does his thing, drops it, not a word, not like, a word. We haven't really seen a sticking point in any of the lifts so far. We've also haven't seen any struggle or, or, or real speed yeah. as well. Like I said, it's just a nice, smooth, strong lift. Hey, Matt Fraser might be lining up for a 517 pound attempt. So that'll be good for Matt Fraser. Now here's the crazy part is that he won the back squat, he won the strict press, but with the way Adler's lifting right now, 50 yeah. pounds over this, he might not win the event just because of the deadlift. I know. And you know what, again, it's still a, it's a solid lift. I mean, that's more than what he did um, the last time at the game. So I, I, I take that back just under the what he did, about 10 pounds under that. But he was over before. So, like, he's right in the same realm, you know, right in the same area where he was. But you're right, like, Adler has, I mean, that deadlift was insane that he just pulled on that last, on that last time around. Successful 550 lift for Adler. This is the one he's hoping that can push him over the top for an event win. Wow, ah. holy cow, look at that. 567 it's pounds I mean, for Jeffrey Adler. It's incredible that you can make that big of a jump with, on a PR that you already had. Granted, it's the games, but holy cow. I mean, I tell you, I, I was not really Man, expecting him to forward. have. Yeah. I'm not really expecting him to have that much of a drive. I mean, what we saw earlier, I thought he might be broken. I'm hoping that he can really use this for, you know, to, to drive him the, the next couple days. No Olsen hit 532. This will be 540. There it goes. Wow. Again. That was, a, that was a long one. <laughs> Again, just really kind of melts himself into that into that rep, and just keeps on pulling, knowing that he can get up there. Just trying to be patient, letting that bar move and never stop. Yeah, and you know, I think some people are like, "Oh, well, he's rounding a little bit." But the thing for here is like, when, when you're talking about the power and safety position, if the back doesn't move, move. Yeah, if it's braced, while the movement is going, he's good. just braced. Totally. <laughs> you know, he's bracing for impact. Totally. 540 pounds of impact. <laughs> All right, Medeiros is up. This is his final lift. 550 on the bar. Oh, wow. I thought he made it past that sticky hard yep. part in the beginning. Um, he just had to get it up over his knees. So it was a little sticky right here in the beginning, but he kept on fighting. I thought it was like, oh, it's good. And then all of a sudden, someone turned the magnets on. And it just <laughs> stopped that bar in midair. You know, I mean, great pull, great attempt. And that was what he needed to do. I think he still should have gone for that attempt. 545 on the bar for Quan. That's not going to move an inch. So he'll stay with his last total. 529 will be good for Samuel Kwan. That's still 12 pounds more than Fraser did at 517. And Matt Fraser will be your last one to lift for event three. Fraser hit 517 on his last attempt. He's sitting about, about 25 pounds. 25 pounds outside, 35 pounds <laughs> outside. Lift. 5.35 on the bar for Fraser. 
Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, judges. A little bit of eyes across the floor on that. You saw that. I think that that's important to see that battle. We want to see that battle. And I think, you know what, this is okay for Jeff Adler. He needs to be staring Matt in the face. Jeff, congrats on your first win. And Thank congrats you. on PR City for you down here. A number of those lifts were your new personal records. Tell yep. us what happened out on the floor. Uh, I did my best i think yep. i pr'd my back squat by five pounds and there's still some room Ooh. so i'm happy about that i i, I was aiming for 455 back squat so I, I did a little bit uh better there my press two pounds pr that's always like that's it's always two pounds it's never by more than that of course uh and then the race i didn't know exactly what matt was doing and i knew he was like we were uh, probably the two that were competing for first place so i just put on 567 on the deadlift. I was like, it's it's make or break, so, and I got it, so I'm happy about that. That's great, congrats. Now, I was gonna ask, how much of this was your prep, knowing what you can and can't lift, having your coach here, and how much of it was gaming, figuring out what the other guys were gonna be lifting? Uh, there's no gaming for this, because what you can lift is what you can lift. Sure. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident with, he with heavy weights, so, I just like for the deadlift. I just put it on. I'm like just. I just have to lift it, and my body just lifts what I ask ask it to do. So, that's pretty much it. I'm happy about these numbers because I haven't been training strength that much in the past few months, because that's obviously not uh, a weakness of mine. Right. But uh, yeah, I'm super happy, and I can do it with no belt. There you Look go. Yeah. Congratulations, so, here, man. Nice work. Yeah. <laughs>